Carl, you must be disappointed with the result, but from your perspective, what, how, how did that come about? <laughs> well, they managed to get their noses in front, I think it's... We, after analysing them in the first few games, you know, they've got some positive results as, as we have and the first goal is going to be the most important. So I challenged the players to be proactive and be positive in the first half. I thought it was our best first half of football uh, this season. Uh, but we gave away a sloppy goal uh, from a second phase and, and a deflected cross and they managed to score, get their noses in front. Uh, we kept working, the boys kept fighting, kept working. Uh, and obviously the second goal is literally a little transition moment on a counter-attack and, and you 2-0 down. So I'm disappointed for them today because I thought they worked uh, incredibly hard, showed a lot of fight and character and obviously when you're on the wrong end of a result, it's always disappointing. You looked particularly unhappy with that second goal. Yeah, obviously we just made two subs, so I'm trying to uh, inject something different into the game. Uh, I think we switched off just on a, on a throw, long throw, second phase inside, and and the boy went through, and our, our balance wasn't right. Uh, it's, it's sometimes basic, um, but the most basic things in football are the most important. So yeah, I was disappointed because I thought we, even though they had scored the first goal, we had much more of the play uh, without actually creating too many clear cut chances. Credit to them for blocking, and but the, our quality in the. Final third wasn't good enough throughout the game today. Can you pinpoint why that was, Carl? Uh, listen, I can't. Um, you know, it's just maybe it's over hit, under hit. They have a lot of bodies in the box, and you know, you can analyse a game whichever way you want. You know, and in the early, I think around one or two, I wanted them to get more in the box, more in the final third. So they've done that, and then obviously the outcome of the the actions of have, have resulted in blocks or over hit crosses or, or over hit shots. Um, you know, you got to just keep practicing. The, the boos were pretty audible on, yeah. on the final whistle. I mean, your thoughts on, on that reaction? Yeah, listen, supporters have got every right to be disappointed. I'm disappointed. The players are disappointed. But what I'll say to the player, to uh, to you and to the players and to the supporters, that I thought they were brilliant today until the last 96th minute. They kept going and, and we need them. The players need them. Um, but, you know, don't blame the players. Uh, if you want to blame anyone, blame me. I'm, I'm thick-skinned enough to do that. I understand football's a results-driven business. Um, but I'll continue to work as hard as I can because... You know, if you don't do that, then there's something wrong with you as an individual. And the one thing p people cannot do is criticise my work ethic or my will to try and win. So I'll continue to do that as much as I can. Um, but it's not nice when you hear boos. What do you make of the pressure that you are under from a perception point of view, I guess, from the outside? Yeah, well, someone, someone mentioned that to me. And uh, you can control the controllables. And that's what I do. You know, uh, I'm sitting here probably the third or fourth manager in a couple of years and I know that and it's you know if you if you look at the history and the deep rooted um who I can I say analogies and thought process and opinions of a lot of people uh, experts and you know so-called in the know um there's a common theme so I'll just do my business I'll continue to be open and honest with you I'll continue to work as hard as I can but you know stick with the players that's the most important thing what's the common theme Carl? sorry what's the common theme well, sometimes to fix something, you have to you have to get better. You have to have a plan, and you have to try and you know have a core of players. You know, I, I've rumbled it up a little bit this year to try and get a new core of players because what I believe over the last couple of years hasn't worked. Um, so, three, four games into the season, um, you know, there's a, there's a trends appearing. We need to be better. You know, first half slow. I think first game, first half slow. No, second, yeah, second game, first 30 minutes, very slow. And then last week, first half was a bit so-so. Today, I thought we were excellent and we don't get a result. So that's what I say to you. I know it's a results-driven business. Um, you know, what I'll continue to do is work with the players. I'll continue to have, they have my backing and I said, I'll, I'll drown out the noise. For reasons, well, yeah. for well before you came here, there have been plenty of overhauls at, at the club in terms of players. Yeah. You touched on there's got to be a plan as well. Yeah. Beyond just bringing in new players, what, what's the plan that you're, that you're building here? To try and bring the, a number of youth players through. You know, we talk about it all the time. And I can go and sign, and, and you can say Tom Hem is 34, and you can say Demi Petras is 29. All right, I can go and sign 16, 18 really old players, but I don't want to do that. I had that last year, and it didn't work. So I want to try and get the nucleus and the core group of players in, in an age range which I want. To do that, you have to be brave, and I think I've done that. I've told the club that's what I want to do and, and play them, but I also need to win as well, as, as you mentioned there. It's a results-driven business, so I'm not naive enough to know to not expect a little bit of pressure or a bit of disappointment when results don't come, and you accept it and you move on. Um, sorry, moving forward, yeah. 
Um, how do you expect that new strategy to work for you? In what respect, sorry? The, so with, with your team, the yeah. players that you've employed? Yeah. We, ju we just need to be better in final third areas. So I think the, the performance was very good. I thought we did a lot of things right. I thought we, we won a lot of duels and little second balls, which I didn't think we did in the first couple of games. So that was good. Our passing was better. Our final third entries number was better. Our outcomes in our final third weren't good enough. So we need to work on that. Um, but they just need to play like they did, but have a little bit of more quality in the final third, which is the, the biggest thing in football. It's how good you are in the final third. Carl, you obviously yeah. changed the team from, from the yeah. cup game. Um, but yeah. I wonder just how much of an impact like, you know, around the group that would have had, you know, losing to a bunch of part-timers. On Tuesday? Yeah. I was, I was, it's not nice. It's not nice. Um, there was a, a number of disappointing things in the game. Um, I, again, whenever you're a manager and you make decisions to rotate and rest people for games, uh, if the outcome isn't right, then you get a lot of criticism, and, and rightly so. Uh, I thought it was a very poor performance by a number of uh, players. I thought the best players on the field were the young ones. I was always going to change the team. I needed some freshness in the team, and I thought the boys looked fresh today. So, you know, we, we've had a, a difficult week, I suppose you can say, in football. It's a, it's a long time. Uh, two defeats in a row is not great, um, you know, but it was a totally different team today. So there's no reason why this performance should be dictated by the Tuesday's play because not many of them played. But I'm saying, I'm yeah. Saying, men mentally. Yeah, mentally. Yeah, it's disappointing for the group. I said, yeah, you try and keep everyone involved, which I did on Tuesday. Um, some players took the chance. I think the young kid on the, who came on at the end in the last 10 minutes, Ali Lapani, took his chance the other day. I thought he was the best player on the field. Uh, he got his reward today by playing some minutes in a, in a big derby game. So um, disappointing for the group, disappointing for the club. We know that. Um, but what we can do is roll your sleeves up and fight. Okay, all right, no problem. Thank you.